Good Saturday afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I just want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Um, I'm excited. I'm happy. I feel good about what's going on. Um, this is the last Saturday that we don't have something going on. We are only, we're less than two weeks away from the Hall of Fame game. So every weekend, just about now, until the Super Bowl, there's some football games that are basically going on. There's, there's a couple of weeks where there's not, I mean, you know, you've got the, uh, yeah, you got a couple of weeks, but not many. Not many, guys. It is football on. And you know what? It's kind of cool. My man, Dab Sports, said, I need to give it a rest because I'm really just doing content that's about nothing. And I dare say that a show about nothing made somebody pretty famous see Seinfeld. But it's okay. You know what? We know there's not a whole lot going on. We could dare say that most of the talking heads have been talking about nothing and a whole bunch of bullshit. You know, it's cool. And if you don't want to watch, you know, you can just say, hey, I'm just tuning off Mark Holmes and his channel until there's actually some stuff going on, which is next week. It's next week. But shout out to JR214. I don't know what the 214 stands for. If you know, let me know. He shared with me a article, okay, about nothing, about nothing here. Let, let me show you what I'm talking about here. See, you know, and, uh, and the other part about what we're doing here right now, my man, Dab Sports, you know, like I said, I appreciate it. We're also talking about practice, not, 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 not the games, not the games on Sundays. We're talking about practice. And this is my opportunity to get back into game shape, you know, using the streaming software, popping the stuff up on here. Cause this is my practice, not, not, not the games. Because when the games get here, I want to make sure I have it down pat. But here is exactly what I said was going to happen yesterday. When I saw the Madden ratings and they actually rated Dak Prescott at six, I said I can guarantee there will be outrage that people will be going, oh, my God, how could you? And here it is, Jason Reed. I don't know who Jason Reed is, but I'm assuming he's a Chargers Justin Herbert fan. So, the title here, overrated QB gets a higher Madden rating 23 than Chargers Justin Herbert. He sounds mad. Let's go into the story here. The ratings for the newly installment of the Madden franchise, Madden 23, have been slowly rolling out. The training camps is around the corner for NFL teams. Some Chargers players have gotten fair ratings, while some players have been underrated and even overrated. The quarterback ratings for the game dropped on Friday, and it was a bit of a surprise to see the ratings that quarterback Justin Herbert was given. Madden 23 slapped an 88 overall on Herbert. While it's a bit low, how it compares to quarterback peers is what would de be determined, uh, uh, peers, what would determine if it was a bad rating or not. Let me tell you, it does not compare greatly. While Herbert is still one of the highest quarterbacks in the game, there are still some players ahead of him that simply shouldn't be there. There is an outrageous example that simply does not make sense. So Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Pat Mahomes, Josh Allens, Joe Burrow, Dak Prescott, and then Justin Herbert. And then followed by Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson, Matthew Stafford, Kyler Murray, Deshaun Watson. Now, understand. All these things are up for debate, and the way you do them, of course, is you want shock value because then people, of course, are interested in it. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, and I've gone through and said that true. You know, if anything, I, I think it's actually good if a player is slighted because then he's going to prove you wrong. I'd rather have that guy, you know, that, that's out to prove everybody wrong than a guy saying, shit, I'm, I'm a top five Madden quarterback. I don't have to do, prove anything. But... Be that as it may, let's go on to this a little more because he, he, he's kind of pissed. Dak Prescott is a higher rating than Justin Herbert. Let me write that again in case you think it is a mistake. Dak Prescott is higher rating than Justin Herbert. Look, I have defended Dak in arguments about the quarterback tiers before, but this is simply outrageous. 
There is no world in which Dak Prescott is a better quarterback than Justin Herbert. Well, okay. Bill Simmons has a great take on Dak Prescott. He is Kirk Cousins with a better PR, while Cowboy fans would instantly jump in to defend. Okay, so so wait, 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 wait. Here's an interesting part. He's now gone away from the debate about Dak Prescott and Justin Herbert. He's now gone to it, Dak Prescott and Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, who does have a slightly higher quarterback uh, completion percentage, than Dak Prescott, right? Right? So what he's really making the argument about is, is really maybe Kirk Cousins should be higher than Justin Herbert. Because here's the thing. As he talks about the completion percentage, Justin Herbert actually has a lower completion percentage than Kirk Cousins and Dak. 65.9. Now, he does have... 5,014 yards for last season, which is incredible, and 38 TDs. One more TD than Dak Prescott and six hundred, almost 600 yards more passing than Dak. But I'm going to ask a question because at, let's dig a little deeper here in these numbers, okay? Because he played in 17 games, one more game than Dak Prescott did, right? They were 9-8. and eight. They were 9-8. and eight. And didn't make the playoffs. His first season, they were six and nine. Is it possible? Is it possible since they had eight losses that some of those games were garbage time? And I'll point out with the 38 TDs that there were 15 interceptions. Now, I'm not trying to say that Justin Herbert isn't a really good quarterback, but I keep hearing this thing about, you know, winning. Well, Justin Herbert hasn't been to the playoffs. He hasn't been to the playoffs to lose or win a game. He's got a losing record, 15 and 17. Are we now saying that it's the team around him? And not the quarterback? Because when it comes to Dak, oh, well, Dak, you know, he's his record against winning quarterbacks. His playoff record. Do those not apply to Justin Herbert? Oh, you know, they did play head-to-head last year. The Cowboys were on the road in Los Angeles. And I think the Cowboys and Dak Prescott won that game. So I think that makes... Dak Prescott, if we're saying Dak versus Justin, 1-0. and oh. Let's do something else here. Let's take a look at the seasons that they had. Okay, again, Justin Herbert threw more yards. 9-8 and eight record, missed the playoffs. Dak Prescott played one less game, 11-5 and five in the playoffs. Close to winning. Completion percentage, Dak Prescott, Justin Herbert, 68-8, 65-9. So that's 2.9% higher completion percentage for Dak Prescott. Now again, shout out to Justin Herbert. He had more passes, so he had more yards. Rating, Dak Prescott, 104.2. Justin Herbert, 97.7. Okay. Interceptions. Justin had five more. Now, again, Justin did have one more game than Dak Prescott, but had five more interceptions than Dak. He was sacked one more time than Dak was. Yard average, identical. So where is it that, you know, Justin did have more rushing yards. Dak was on one leg. So where is it? Where is this outrage that in no world, let me go back to it now, there is no world in which Dak Prescott is a better quarterback than Justin Herbert. There is no world in which Dak Prescott is a better quarterback. He's got a higher completion percentage, less interceptions, uh, one less touchdown in one less game, higher rating, made the playoffs, one head-to-head,
I think you might be barking up the wrong tree, uh, my man. I- I'm sorry, Jason Reed. You know, your 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 case doesn't hold water on this one. Your case doesn't hold water. Sorry. It, it doesn't. You have this outrage on that one. Justin Herbert, what has he done? What has he done? Has he made the playoffs? I mean, I, you, I, I could see the argument if you said Josh Allen. I could see the argument if you said, you know, um, Joe Burrow, because, you know, they, they made the playoffs and, you know, went to, one went to Super Bowl. And, you know, Josh, I, I could see that argument. But with Justin Herbert, Dak's got better statistics and he's got better winning percentage. Sorry, Jason, you were so wrong on that one. But anyway, it doesn't matter because people, I, I can guarantee you, people will come on here, you're crazy. I'll take Justin Herbert over Dak Prescott any day of the week. But okay, well, that's you. That's you. You can make that argument either way, but I'm sorry. To say basically there is no chance in no world is Dak Prescott better than Justin Herbert? Okay. It's funny how these arguments are always made that, you know, do as I say, don't do as I do. That as it fits your narrative, then you'll make that argument. When it doesn't, oh, then that you can't use it. Come on, man. Stop with the bullshit. I'm just glad that come Monday, we'll be talking about the Cowboys landing in Oxnard and Tuesday we'll be talking about the press conference that training camp is open and Wednesday we'll be talking about practice. All right? We'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace.